Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live. Today I'll be sharing this BTS, basically behind the screen of this compositing. Um, this is more like a compositing lesson for non-3D artists. So normally with compositing you might think of Photoshop or After Effects or these days you can also use augmented reality. But yeah, this is an example where we can put all kind of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here going on. There's a grease pencil, default cube, sphere, and there's this BTS group photo cutouts, and also my sculpture with the backdrop of uh, Bondi Beach. Okay, so this is some kind of compositing by the sea. By the sea, BTS, yeah, you get the pun. It's a uh, I'll be sharing basically uh, this footage with the camera data and you can see this BTS looks like a miniature because I intentionally do, do that because if you make it like a miniature you don't care much about the perspective anymore you can of course try to match for example this this is a photo shoot with a originally it looks like this right it could be just like a green screen you can also use like different pose of this guy if it's like a cutout um, like this you can easily place in the perspective and from the certain camera angle as long as it's facing the camera the cutout should work so that's a uh, yeah this is the whole scene basically and I want to share the process so I took uh, a footage the other day right I'm using an app called um, CamTrack AR on the iPhone. So this is the iPhone quality. It's 2K, kind of a low res. Is but I could actually have another camera that took the same scene while taking the same footage. The camera data is tracked using the app CamTrack AR. So if you load, if you want to load the whole things, I have shown to you before. You need an add-on um, by HitFilm. So HitFilm is the company that made this app. And this is the add-on. I will give it to you, the whole things and the footage. So once you have the add-on installed, all you need to do again is just import HitFilm AR tracking data and just drag and drop the HFCS File. Oops, oops, oops. Made a mistake there. And it's loading the camera data. Now we have camera and we have some markers or locators. We can go through, go inside the camera and look through the camera. Now we have something. Select the camera, add a background image, movie clip. And we're gonna specify our footage, which is this one. It's actually shot in 60 frames per second. And I increase the opacity. And also this, there's a, uh, we need to offset by one frame. Now it's correct. So file, save as. This is a compositing demo, compositing BTS behind the screen. Okay, uh, we're gonna use uh, BTS cutouts at some point, but anyway, you, you have now the scene ready. You can add like a default cube or you know, just make your own rectangle, and yeah, something like that. And the thing should be correct. Like I said, this actually shot at 60 frames per second. Keep that in mind. The way I like to work usually, because this is a camera and the camera is like a full frame, you might you can actually crop crop it so you can you can also blur some image. Uh, blur the face to hide the privacy oops sorry yeah but anyway 
this thing is properly tracked and we can add things like cutouts um, we can use this pencil this pencil rendering uh, it works but sometimes when it when things overlapping you might see some glitch I don't know we, we're gonna see later so we can also bring in like uh, file a pen uh, actually I have my own sculpture from the other day remember the seahorse okay this is the seahorse the seahorse doesn't have any shader I'll give it a quick material maybe make it shiny and chrome chrome like okay so this is what we have by default it's getting reflection from from Eevee but we can we need to have like a scene light and scene world we need some kind of war uh, like world um, environment image so like I uh, like I promise I actually did take 360 image this is using Rico Terra uh, that's me taking a photo of the whole scene maybe we can also use this we need to have environment texture so I'll give that exactly this image this is um, kind of like LDR it's not high it's not a high dynamic range environment just a like LDR so we can quickly use this in the scene so this is with the proper reflections we, if we actually use like a UV sphere with the chrome material we can see the whole reflection Metallic, decrease the roughness. Okay, we can see that the environment is not hundred percent correct because we are we are our our camera is facing the, the the sea, so we need to rotate the shader a little bit. So let's do that very quickly. Gonna open up shader editor. I will select the world shader so this is our 360 image gets into the background I'm gonna use texture mapping texture coordinate I think we can do it this way and rotate it in the Z axis until we are facing the ocean so that's, that's our view and this is our reflections now this is a little bit better than before now we want to see the background so we make the film transparent okay I think this is pretty good what's missing now is probably just the shadow this is in a in the afternoon around 3 p.m. the shadow is pretty long and it's casting this way it's pretty strong as well so let's have our light sunlight and try to cast the shadow exactly like this so this guy over here is a uh, it's gonna be our shadow catcher so I'll create material and I believe yeah 
we just set it as shadow and we're gonna be we need to be in cycle mode so now supposedly with visibility turn on shadow catcher and now we can see our shadow so now the image is properly composite with our 3D mesh and grease pencil. Grease pencil is a bit dark somehow. Yeah, because it's flat. And also, if we want to bring in the BTS, I already have the cutout. So let's let's try doing that. File import image as planes from the downloads I think this one principal shareless let's just make it shareless so let's see what we got here Okay, BTS, shareless, rotate in the Z axis and just gonna make it maybe miniature. If we make it miniature, then the pers perspective changes and our brain is like, okay, that character is really small anyway, so you can you can put it on the floor easily. And try to merge it with our 3D scene. So if we are in the EV mode, I think we also can turn on scene light, so we can see the shadow and the light. So I think the setup is almost complete. Our floor, we can. Uh, this is our floor material. If we add metallic and reflections, and okay, we are in cycles mode. But if we are in EV and we, if we turn on the ambient occlusions and also the bloom and screen space reflections, we're gonna have reflections, which is kind of nice. So if we are doing like Compositing like uh, making like a kind of like a new stage for for your cutouts, whatever your cutouts is. I'm using this. I'm borrowing this PDS cutouts. You have reflections, and it's kind of nice. You can you can quickly use this to make like a virtual stage. See, the box is not on the floor. Now it's just a matter of me trying to create the box for this music group. Oh yeah, by the way, you can use your own sculptures, what right? Because we have a footage now, so we, we have basically like a Sculpture by the sea. It's a it's a famous thing in Bondi Beach. Once a year, you can they have this uh, event. It's a free event. People just can just walk there and look at sculptures. Cool. And that's the thing. When I don't know these days, you can take like uh, footage. Or scenes anywhere in the world and you can basically basically share it with your friend with AR data and I think that's really powerful this is just cutouts right but imagine if you you're placing like a 3d objects or AR in the scene virtually and it's kind of it's looking real as well Oops. Now I'm, I'm rendering in Eevee, 
I'm gonna switch to cycle so it's using the footage the footage itself is flat but we, we have a floor here and a shadow casting but the thing with the shadow currently it seems to be too bright I wonder if it's because of the our light is too bright maybe I should zero it out see it's kind of mixing it and blending with our environment light so I need to adjust that maybe in compositing and also the the shadow casting is blue and my shadow is our shadow here in blender is dark so a lot a lot of things to take care of and also not forgetting one more thing is the, the color management I set it to filmic and if we switch to medium contrast it might look more realistic and I think the shadow should be darker just a thing Yeah, I, I should try to render this out. But if you check it out using EV, the camera should be correct and matching the footage. And also the background should be animating here. It's not, shouldn't be static. Okay. It works in this, in this mode. So that's basically uh, kind of like a basic compositing in 3D using Blender. I don't know, in the future maybe we are using like game engine like Unity, Unreal to do the compositing, camera and rendering. But we have the tool here also in Blender using either using EV render engine or Cycles. Cycle is more realistic ray tracing. EV is for real time. I mean, with EV you can actually have like a decent render. This is like inside the camera, right? You can also go outside the camera. Now, if you look at this, this is also something that you can present. So the camera can be your own camera. You just project the background and you already have the composite. Alright, so that's basically the whole process from the footage that I'm gonna share with you. Basic footage and then how you can bring in the footage into Blender with the with the camera tracking AR data and how you set up the light, the shadow, the floor, putting all the 3D and then yeah and then also using the environment light setting up the materials and you have the final result that can be rendered this is of course just the basic if you are doing this um, maybe in the future I will try to use green screen and try to shoot my own footage of cutouts this should be interesting but the idea here really uh, this is for me is like a Kind of like a preview if I want to make this into AR I want to share it to my friend if I have a, like friends uh, at Bondi right now I can share them like an AR experience that I make in Blender and send it as augmented reality and yeah that's also kind of another things that so you this is not final normally it's final because you bring the footage and then composite it inside uh, your own 3D package or game engine and this could be like like I said like a final render but in in my case I really like to play around with augmented reality so I need to I want to be able to bundle this as AR send it to my friend at the at the locations 
Okay, so yeah, so that's basically the whole process. Hopefully you find this interesting and useful and inspire you to make something using Blender. Um, I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.